When I say the PLA, what is it that comes to your mind? Here's what China wants you to think of. The headlines they like. Headlines like, the PLA remains a powerful force. China has more warships than the US. China has the world's largest navy. You get the drift. This is what they've been selling the world. This is the perception that they've built, painstakingly projecting the PLA as a powerful force. And since China has not fought a war in 45 years, we haven't really seen proof of this power. We've not seen them in, them in action. We just have to take their word for it. And the videos that they circulate, like this one, take a look. You saw that. Drones for food delivery. Freshly prepared meals for soldiers delivered by drones. Two years back, China was boasting about all of this. The PLA even showed off this app. What does it do? It works like Swiggy or Zomato, but for the Chinese military. The soldiers have a tablet. It's a food delivery app. They can use it to order fresh food and it gets delivered to their post, wherever they're posted. Or does it? Is this all part of Chinese propaganda? They want the world to believe that theirs is the best equipped force and that their soldiers have the best of everything from weapons to food supplies. But here's the other side of that story. Chinese soldiers stealing to make ends meet. Soldiers stranded without supplies, removing fuel from missiles to cook food. And I'm not the one saying this. A Chinese soldier is. He's given a tell-all interview and busted China's lies, shown the world the wide gap between China's propaganda and China's reality. So who is the soldier? His name is Yao Cheng. He served as a lieutenant colonel in the Chinese Navy. But in 2016, Yao fled China. He's believed to be living in the US now, and he's revealed some embarrassing details. He says Chinese soldiers face serious shortages. They don't have the food supplies they need, so how do they survive? Yao says the soldiers cannibalize their military supplies. They drain fuel from rockets and use it to cook food. He said all of this in an interview. I have some quotes. And this is what he said. When I was in the military, we would drain fuel from aircraft fuel tanks for cooking, which burns green and has no smell at all. I would often go along to the armory and ask them for a small round piece of solid fuel when we wanted to have hot pot. This is what the soldier has said. And what does it tell you? Chinese soldiers cook their own food using stolen fuel. What about the fancy food deliveries? Is that a lie? Here's another myth that China loves propagating. The PLA is a well-funded military. It has abundant resources and all the money it needs. If you look at their budget allocations, you'd be inclined to believe it. In 2023, China's military budget was $224 billion, amongst the highest in the world. But apparently, China's military budget is inadequate. And the PLA whistleblower has confirmed this. He said some departments have no money whatsoever. So funds are misappropriated all the time. Let me quote from the interview again. Some military departments have no money, and if they need money, their chief has to allocate some from the equipment budget. The equipment budget would have, been would have been sufficient, but not after being misappropriated. The budget for dinners and gifts is taken from the equipment budget. So the Chinese military is leaking cash. Xi Jinping claims to be spending billions on the PLA. He wants a modern fighting force with powerful weapons. And that's where the money is supposed to go. The Chinese government clears a large military budget every year. It allocates money for upgrades. But this money is being spent elsewhere, sometimes out of necessity, some other times because of corruption. And that brings me to the third myth. The Chinese military is efficient. Its officers are loyal to the Communist Party. Even Xi Jinping does not believe this, which is why he keeps firing his generals. Since taking power in 2013, he has removed hundreds of military officials, mostly over corruption charges. And even after that,
The Chinese president is not satisfied. A fresh crackdown is underway as we speak. More than 10 high-profile officials have been sagged, including a defense minister. On Monday, Xi Jinping held a meeting. He spoke about the purges. He said more work needs to be done. The situation remains grave and complex. That's what Xi Jinping said. So he's removing military officials left, right and center. And this is what the big picture looks like. There is corruption, inadequate resources and soldiers running out of supplies. What does that tell you? The PLA may not be the formidable, formidable force that the world believed it to be. It's just another Chinese creation, big on hype, low on substance.